Today's test method covers A, ASHTO, T308. The test method determining the asphalt binder content of asphalt mixtures by the ignition method. The tools you need for this test are the ignition oven, face shield, heat resistant gloves, loading fork, scale, wire brush or asphalt tool, cool down safety cage, and a heat resistant surface or a cool down plate. To start this test, you will need to turn on the ignition oven and set the chamber temperature to the temperature used to determine the binder content correction factor, which is either 482 degrees or 538 degrees Celsius. See Annex A in AASHTO T308. Then you will need to allow approximately three hours for the ignition oven to reach the chamber set point. Once the oven has reached the chamber set point, you will need to obtain a representative portion of the asphalt mixture and reduce it to the required sample size. Then once you oven dry the sample at 230 degrees plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit to constant mass prior to testing, or collect a separate representative sample and determine the moisture content according to A, A, S, H, T, O, T, 329. Keep in mind that if the sample is not warm enough to separate, Warm the sample at 230 degrees plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit until it is workable. Do not heat the sample for an extended period of time. Once you have your sample, you need to zero out an external scale and place the basket assembly on the scale platform. You will record the mass of the empty basket assembly, then remove it from the scale. Next, you will remove the top basket and set it aside. Then place approximately half of the sample in the bottom basket. Make sure the sample is evenly distributed in the basket and move the mix away from the basket edges to prevent material loss during testing. Then you will replace the top basket and remove the lid. Now you will place the remaining half of the sample in the top basket. Then make sure to evenly distribute the sample and move the mix away from the basket edges. Then you can complete the basket assembly by securing the lid and assembly guard. Next, you need to zero the scale and place the basket assembly on the scale platform. Then record the total mass of the basket assembly and sample. Next, you will determine the initial mass of the sample by subtracting the mass of the empty basket assembly from the total mass of basket assembly and sample. Then round the initial mass of the sample to the nearest 1 gram. Input the binder calibration factor by pressing the calib factor button, and then quickly entering the value and pressing enter. The decimal is automatic, so a value of 0.18 would be entered as 018. You will need to verify the entry by pressing the Calib Factor button again. Then input the initial mass of the sample by pressing the Weight button, entering the initial mass and pressing Enter. Then you will verify the initial mass by pressing the Weight button again. Next you will zero the ignition oven's internal scale by pressing the Zero button. Verify that the scale reads 0.0. .0. Make sure to protect yourself from the extreme heat and wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Now you will open the ignition oven door. Stand behind the door as it is open to prevent possible burns. Using the loading fork, you will load the basket assembly into the oven, placing it gently on the ceramic scale platform. Make sure not to drag the basket across the ceramic plate as this could damage the internal scale. Then position the basket so that it is not in contact with the oven walls and will not touch the insulation on the front door when closed. Then close and latch the door. Next you will need to verify that the total mass of the basket assembly and sample shown on the oven display is within 5 grams of the total mass recorded from the external scale. If not, you will need to reposition the basket assembly to eliminate rubbing or check the scale calibration. Once the total mass is verified, you will need to start the ignition oven burn sequence by pressing the start button. The scale will zero out and the asphalt coatings will begin burning off the aggregate. The mass loss may be monitored on the oven display. When the ignition oven detects no additional loss over a 3-minute time period, the burn is complete. You will stop the burn sequence and collect the data ticket. Then record the calibrated asphalt content from the ticket to the nearest 0.01%. Next you need to remove the basket assembly from the ignition furnace with the loading fork. Then you will place the basket assembly on a heat-resistant surface capable of withstanding 1202 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to cover the sample with a protective shield and allow the basket and aggregate to cool to room temperature. 
If the sample was not dried to constant mass prior to burning, subtract the moisture content from the calibrated asphalt content shown on the ticket. You will report the binder content to the nearest to 0.1%. If the remaining aggregate is to be used for a gradation analysis, carefully empty the basket into a container. Perform the gradation analysis according to A. A. S. H. T. O. T. 30. Please visit our website at constructionmaterialtesting.com slash CMT updates for other training videos and modules.